I'm Joe Kirshner with American Water College. Watch as I use my five-step approach to solve this problem. So this problem reads, how many pounds of 65% chlorine, or HTH, which is calcium hypochlorite, will be needed to treat the same amount of water as 10 pounds of 100% chlorine? Okay, so we're basically given that uh, we need to find how many pounds of HTH because HTH is only 65% chlorine. It's not pure chlorine like chlorine gas is. And they told us that uh, we have 10 pounds of 100% chlorine required. So the formula you can use to solve this is your pounds of chlorine equals pounds at 100% divided by the percent available free chlorine. So if you, if you basically just take the total pounds that are given and you divide it by the percent available, that will give you your answer. Okay, so plugging in our numbers, we have 10 pounds of pure chlorine, but the chlorine that we're adding is only 20 or 65% pure. So we're gonna divide the 10 pounds by 65%. But notice we put it in decimal form. Okay, so 65% is equivalent to 0.65. So if I divide 10 pounds of chlorine by 0.65, which is our available free chlorine in the HTH, that'll tell me how many pounds of HTH I need. So 10 divided by 0.65 is 15.4 pounds or 15.38 pounds to be more precise. So basically, if you have pure chlorine and so many pounds of it, in this case 10, and they want to know how many pounds of 65%, you just take that 10 pounds and divide it by 0.65. If they tell you it's 12% hypochlorite, you would take 12, 10 pounds and divide it by 0.12, which would be your 12%. So just remember, take the pounds of pure chlorine and divide it by the percent available in the other type of chlorine and that'll give you your answer. If you need additional help preparing for a state license exam, click the link below and we'll get you some more information about our license-specific exam prep courses.